Hello guys I'm Max from Nepmax Gaming. So today's video is gonna be about top 5 companions in Warframe. But before we get started if you guys like the content I present to you please like the video and subscribe to my channel it would help me a lot so without any delay let's dive right into it. So in number 5 we have Adarza Cavit. As far as pets go, you can't go wrong with an Adarza Cavit. This companion grants a passive, additive 60% critical chance to all nearby allies every 20 seconds. The buff itself lasts for 10 seconds, although you can extend this with the Tech Enhance mod. Adarza Cavit excel when you pair them with single target DPS loadouts. Bringing an Adarza to an Eidolon Hunt or Profit Taker can give you a sizable DPS increase allowing you to farm these missions a little bit faster if your squad isn't optimized. Just be sure to upgrade their defenses with mods so they don't immediately drop dead. Moving on to number 4 we have Crescent Vulpaphyla. The Crescent Vulpaphyla is a Cavit variant of the Helminth Charger, a pet that wants to charge head first into your foes. Its Crescent Charge preset is lackluster, dealing mediocre damage while getting your Vulpaphyla right into a cluster of enemies. The good news is that Crescent Devolution makes them unkillable. Should your Vulpaphyla fall in battle, it will convert into a Sentinel for 30 seconds before transforming back into a Cavit. The Sentinel form itself fires projectiles that deal puncture damage, but the real benefit is that you have a companion that cannot die. Should it die in both its Cavit and Sentinel form, it will still respawn after 30 seconds. This means you have constant access to fetch, animal instinct, and other utility mods that make companions worth using. The other two Vulpaphyla variants are much better than the Crescent version, but any Vulpaphyla will serve you well in Warframe. Moving on to number 3 we have Sly Vulpaphyla. The same pros we mentioned about the Crescent Vulpaphyla apply here, except the Sly variant has passive bonuses that are much more beneficial. This pet can give you evasion periodically, or constantly if it's a sentinel, giving you a chance to avoid any damage that would otherwise affect you. Beyond that great passive effect, Vulpaphylas cannot die permanently. If they die in their Cavit form, they'll morph into a Sentinel for the next 30 seconds. They can still die in this form, although the Vulpaphyla will come back to life after 30 seconds, even in arbitrations. Moving on to number 2 we have Smita Cavit. If players are going to farm resources, the Smita Cavit is the uncontested best companion in the game. This is one of two companions that can increase your loot gains, the other being the Chesa Kubro. Unlike the Chesa, Smita Cavits don't interfere with loot generating abilities and stack with just about every loot enhancing source in the game. Smita Cavits have a preset called Charm that grants you one of six random buffs every so often. These buffs can give you an instant reload, cause the next source of damage to not hurt you, or set your weapon's critical chance to 200%. More importantly, the Smita Cavit can double all affinity and resource earnings for the next two minutes, something you can extend further through the use of Tech Enhance. This buff stacks with resource boosters and even the charm buff itself. If you're lucky enough to have this resource buff proc multiple times in quick succession, you'll be earning far more resources and affinity. It's the best companion for those who just want to increase their loot gains without any hassle. And in number 1 spot we have Panzer Vulpaphyla. The Panzer Vulpaphyla is effectively an AI-controlled Saren that can accompany you on any mission. This Cavit variant can release quills that spawn spores on targets, similar to how Saren's first ability works. These spores are fantastic for spreading viral onto targets. Should the Cavit die, it'll turn into a Sentinel that spreads even more spores. It can't die permanently, has tons of utility, and it can spread viral with ease. If you're looking for a fantastic companion that won't die on you, this is it. So guys that's it for the video, if you have any suggestion you can comment down below. Thanks for watching. 
See you guys next time.